Today we come to a diaper from ABU that found its way here by a hair's breadth. Anyone who follows my other videos on Abu will know why, more on that later. It is thanks to one of you that it is being tested after all. Lucas Offline is a loyal viewer who has been watching my videos for quite a while and is also active in the WhatsApp group. Thanks again to Lucas for his support. If you would like to support him, you are welcome to visit his channel and subscribe if you like his videos. With the Little Kings, Abu was one of the first to try to recreate the style of Pampers diapers in large size. This means that there is a larger motif on the front of the adhesive surface and on the back of the bottom. The rest is rather plain. There are no larger motifs in between, just smaller dots, triangles or similar. For a long time, ABDL diapers took a different approach. They were printed with a repeating pattern over the entire surface. Crinkles is one of the oldest. The motifs look cute, but it is a style of its own. For a long time this was due to technical reasons, more on this later. The Little Kings has the usual high leakage protection on the inside. It is fastened with Velcro, as is the case with Pampers children's diapers. However, children's diapers only use one adhesive per side, like a total of two instead of four. Abu deviates from the model in this detail and in my opinion this is a good thing. There are a few ABDL diapers that try it with two instead of four adhesives. All the ones I have tested so far have been mediocre at best. There was even once a diaper with six adhesives. That didn't bring any advantage, but it still held better than just two adhesives. In my experience, four adhesives are best for the fit and hold. The body proportions of an adult or teenager are different to those of a baby or toddler. In addition, less goes into the diaper than with us. Nothing surprised me about the fit, neither positive nor negative. Size M fit well, as with other Abu diapers. It feels like a normal ABDL diaper, not thin like a medical diaper, but not overly thick either. This is confirmed by the empty weight measurement. 202 grams is slightly below average. In the practical test, it had a total weight of just under 2 kg. This is slightly above the average of the diapers tested so far. As expected, the wetness indicator changed color during filling. It looks quite similar to that of medical diapers, but is slightly different in color. This is rare in the ABDL range. There are only a few diapers whose fill level can be seen on an external indicator, such as the little paws, to name an example from the same manufacturer. Technically, there are two remarkable things. It was one of the first diapers in position printing. This is the only way to create such complex patterns. In position printing, the diaper is cut precisely. So you know, for example, that the lion is always in the same position at the front and back. Classic printing does not know this and cuts randomly. This is why it can happen with crinkles that the top of an animal's head is cut off. There are now other diapers with positional printing. The technology is still quite new, so new diapers are being added all the time. If you have subscribed to my channel, you can find out about all new releases in the diaper news. The second special feature of the Little Kings is the outer material. It doesn't use foil like the others. Instead, it is made of cotton. The quality is better than that of medical diapers, where the surface often feels quite rough and is so coarse that you notice lint on closer inspection. With the Little Kings, more effort has been made to make the surface feel less rough. However, it doesn't come close to the soft plastic of a foil diaper, which is much softer. Tykables in particular is the leader here in my eyes and is currently the most comfortable of all. If you want to be a clone of Pampers, cotton is at least part of it, as Pampers has not been making diapers out of foil since the 1990s. Many of you see it differently. A survey on my channel showed that the vast majority prefer foil as the outer material. But that seems to be Abu's intention. I'm not aware of any ABDL diaper with cotton until the Little Kings. They all had foil. Anyone who wanted cotton had to resort to medical, unprinted diapers. So this product was deliberately designed for the niche of you who prefer a surface that is too textile-like. This has a significant impact on the price. The pack of 10 cost a whopping 39 euros and 95 cents. At almost 4 euros per diaper, the Little Kings is the most expensive diaper I've tested so far. And that brings me to my biggest criticism. The Little Kings is far too expensive, which is why I haven't tested it yet. Of course, it is clear that we are talking about a niche product. Fewer of these diapers are produced and sold, so a cotton diaper has to be more expensive than the normal ones. Even if you take that into account, 
I find the price premium extreme. The critter caboose, for example, lasted much longer in the practical test, feels a little thicker and only costs around €2.74 per diaper. In terms of design, Rears is also trying its hand at a diaper that is supposed to be quite similar to Pampers. If you don't necessarily want to look similar to Pampers, you can find many other cute printed diapers for significantly less money than the Little Kings. The outer film often makes them look more colorful and vibrant than the more matte cotton. During the test, Abu actually lowered the price and now charges €3.60 per diaper. Nevertheless, it is still the most expensive. I think the alternatives are better as they feel softer and cost significantly less. Cotton feel also tends to smell more like urine, especially after prolonged wear. The cotton fans among you will find the Teddy's Ultra Test as an alternative on the side. And everyone else can find many more ABDL diapers that I have tried. There should be something there for everyone, regardless of whether you prefer cotton or film. Stay dry, see you next time.